sweating right now. Just got out of the shower. Hold up. I don't see anybody. There we go. Yo, yo. 205. Good one season. What's good? Yo, yo, yo. Y'all know I got to wait until we get at least 200 people watching. But I want to make it. Just want to get right to it. And get to the point. I give about mm, 30 more seconds to let people get on. Can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Okay, I got a thumbs up. For sure. All right, we got 255 people tuning in right now. First and foremost, thank you for your time. I'm gonna make it quick and to the point. I just, I was gonna write a statement but obviously, uh, you know, people work on their own timelines. And so I just made it a priority. I want to kind of get my statement out. A lot of people like been hitting me up and I was working out, handling stuff with the baby and Mo. Hey, good one season. Hey, yo, but I wrote something out, but I, I feel like it would be better for y'all to see me and just get it, you know, straight from the heart. So I'm gonna just, um, just give y'all, you know, what people been asking for. So here's my, my statement. It's truly, truly a blessing and a privilege to be able to play football, a game that I love so much and have been blessed to play since I was nine years of age. The NFL organization provides my family and I with many opportunities that I wouldn't have presented, been presented uh, in other industries traveling to several states multiple times a year and internationally to play on foreign soil has allowed me to gain an appreciation for different cultures and a wider worldview perspective. Um, the NFL organization has allowed me to create a platform I always dreamed of and allows me to reach numerous of people on different stages of life. Um, I've chosen to opt out of playing in the 2020 and 2021 season this year, and here's why. Three years ago, I made a decision that affected my whole life. I chose to leave my wife at the hospital after prematurely birthing our first baby due to incompetent cervix, which resulted in a fatality to play on a football game, in a football game. I felt like I had to prove to my coaches and new team that I was dedicated to winning and I wouldn't let anything keep me from that goal, not even my family. The following year in the same month, November, same week, our lives took another traumatic turn. Two weeks after learning uh, that her abdominal cerclage was failing, my wife called me shortly after she had landed and arrived to our team hotel in Tampa, Florida to inform me she was having painful contractions. And my grandma, who flew up to help take care of Morgan while I would go to work in away games, had to rush her to the ER. Here we are again in the same predicament as a year, a year ago, except I was almost 3,000 miles away. Anxiety overtook me as I again had to make a similar decision. Will I choose to play again like everyone may expect me to do? Or do I go home and tend to my ailing wife? Nevertheless, I told our GM at the time that I absolutely had to fly back and take care of my wife to honor my wedding vows. I made both to her, myself, and God. We lost our twin boys. We have three angel babies to hold and watch as their little heartbeats grew more and more faint by the minute until it stopped. I'm holding these babies, y'all, and I'm seeing my baby's heartbeats grow weaker and weaker, y'all. Like, imagine that, you know what I'm saying? After those losses, I was still expected to perform on a gridiron. Soon, I began to lose excitement for playing the game. Like, it was all I could think about. My wife at home, she didn't have a pregnant belly anymore nobody to cling to, no shoulder to cry on, no, no one to talk to. While I'm at work getting the love and, you know, just everybody patting me on the back and, you know, they just soothing me and getting me right while she at home by herself. Some may not understand as they may have not had to deal with this issue. 
it made me vulnerable. I didn't know how to cope with the loss of babies. Like, I've always wanted kids. I've always wanted babies, but, you know, still, we came home with no babies. My game decreased. I started playing less. I was getting injured. I was losing weight. I wasn't the same vibrant soul while in a football facility as I once was. I was mad. I felt that I should be, you know, at home helping my best friend get past the grief. Therefore, I could be the Marquise Goodwin, the guy I was on the field my first season in San Fran, except better. Onward to uh, February 2019, our lives changed for the better as we finally were blessed to bring home our first living child, our rainbow baby. Ray Ray, where you at, baby? Where's she at? Let me see her face. Let them see her face. All right, y'all. This right here, this is my reason, y'all. She is the reason I'm opting out for this season. After choosing football so many times, I feel like I'm inclined to make the right decision by finally choosing my family first. And that's real talk. It's known that the NFL is implementing safety protocols to combat COVID. Uh, pandemic as well as other professional sporting leagues. I won't take the chance of experiencing another loss because of my selfish decision making. I can't do it. It's not something I'm willing to live with. Therefore, I've chosen to opt out for plan only for this season or until medical professionals across the world all agree that the world is a safe environment for everyone and not just NFL players. I will not play the 2020-2021 season, NFL football season. I'm asking everyone to respect my decision, and it is my hope that you stay safe through these unprecedented times. Good one, season. I appreciate all your support. We appreciate all your love. Um, can't thank y'all enough for just supporting us and, and giving us the love, man. That's why we started this channel so that um, you know, God or women and men like you, young boys, young girls, can look up to us and you know support us and you know help us through these trying times. Like I said before. You got anything, baby? Yeah, I was about to say, not everybody will understand, and um, that just means we got different values, and that's okay. That's okay, you know? It doesn't mean that I don't love football. It doesn't mean that I don't want to be an eagle. It doesn't mean anything besides the fact that I'm protecting these two right here. These are my pride and joy, man. I live for these two. I die for these two. I, I will. Don't see how they expect certain people to be happy and, you know, having to leave their family. Y'all do not want me to, to play football like without my family. I'm telling you, I will be super ass. That's the reason. It's not the reason, but it's a, a great deal of the reason why I was not able to finish the year injuries last year. It was a great deal of the reason why I had to, to leave and go support my wifey. You know, and a lot of people may not understand that. I won't say that guys who are going to football with families don't love their wives and their they kids. They just got different priorities, and that's okay too. But my priority is to take care of these two. I made that vow to God. I made it to myself. I made it to my wife. And now I make it to my, to my baby and my future kids. And everybody around, I think, take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror before you try to go judge the next person. When I say family over everything, family first, hey, I mean that. I stand by that. I hope y'all can respect the decision, man. Um, it's nothing but love from us. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> See, I love my baby. Slower and all. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do it without these two right here. I promise y'all. <laughs> Oh, it's all right, baby. It's all right. Go ahead and feed her, baby. <laughs> yeah, but good one, season. Look, I will be making YouTube videos. This, I will not disappear. I will still be vocal. I will still be myself. Like, I won't crawl up under a rock. Um, I just wanted y'all to know, and I wanted y'all to hear from the horse's mouth, what exactly what was going on. Uh, Mo. Yeah. They saying, uh... Morgan, did you take the test? We coming soon with a <laughs> we gotta make the video. <laughs> we gonna make we gonna make a YouTube video, y'all, of Morgan take a, a taking a pregnancy test. 
<laughs> yes. So y'all, y'all keep y'all's fingers crossed, but hey, we love and appreciate y'all. And um, we got a few videos coming within the next couple days, but I just had to get on here. I could not, I could not live with myself just leaving my family. You know, even though they have protocols to where they have proper uh, shelter for our families, housing, I should say, for our families, separate, I just can't do it, y'all. I can't chance it even going up there. I can't chance it driving, you know, 18 to 20 hours up there with my family. I can't. I can't chance it stopping at a gas station and getting gas and getting back in the car after a million other people didn't touch that handle. I can't. So we don't go anywhere. We stay at home. We train here. I get my workout outside in in the uh, on the street, my neighborhood, everybody in my neighborhood know I live in the neighborhood now because I've been grinding for the last five months outside on the street, y'all. Sometimes I hit the track or the high school field down the street, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, I got a responsibility to uphold and it's my family. Faith, family, football. That's my big three right now. Faith, number one, then my family, then football, in that order. Won't change for nobody. Love y'all. God bless you. Good one, season.